Hi, I'm Aaron. I've been an electronic music producer for over 20 years now. I have traveled around the world playing clubs and music festivals. I've released music on record labels uh, going under the name Anodyne Industries. Anodyne, for anybody that's not familiar, is a word that essentially means a, a mythical cure-all, something that can fix any kind of illness or ailment. And that's because music for me has always been a healing force. Uh, when I was younger, it was definitely a healing force for me and, and worked in, in very powerful ways to get me through some rough times in my life. And that's something that I always wanted to project out to the people that I was playing for uh, or that were enjoying or listening to my music. In 2016, I was involved in an accident that, uh, amongst other things, I suffered a traumatic brain injury. I was in the hospital in a, an acute rehab center for brain trauma, recovering for about a month before I left to live with my parents for some time and then had to spend the next year not working, not being allowed to drive because I was still recovering from the brain trauma. Um, amongst other things that I lost, uh, including my some of my short-term memory, was my ability to understand and appreciate and even write music. Uh, I had to relearn how to process these sounds all over again. And through that process, I realized that listening to very structured rhythms and uh, even energetic music really put me on edge. My brain just couldn't process those sounds the way that it used to. And as a result, I wasn't able to make music as Anodyne Industries anymore. But I had to keep making music that's just a part of my identity. And so I started developing new ideas and new ways to produce what I produce. One of those ideas was to start becoming more unstructured instead of creating very predictable dance rhythms that would make me feel uncomfortable. I would make those anti-rhythms or I would just make ambient music and that's where all of this eventually came from. One of my ideas was to get so far out of the box or out of my computer when I was producing that I would be literally outside of the house with a few little synthesizers uh, and a battery pack to entertain myself and to keep myself learning and making new music. And that eventually turned into what happened here, which is the electroacoustic sound bath. Electroacoustic, if you're not familiar with the term, means Obviously, there's an electronic component, which is all of the synthesizers and effects and drone machines and, and the microphones and everything that I use for the sound bath. And then there's the acoustic portion, which are the crystal singing bowls, the small gongs and shakers and rattles and interesting noisemakers that I found that complement the electronic side of things. And sound bath is essentially where a facilitator, namely myself or somebody else that's playing the instruments, is creating an atmosphere of calm and relaxation with all of the sounds that they're making with the instruments that they brought with them. And the intention here is for listeners to essentially just relax and to get their mind off of maybe the stressors that they've had with them that day or that week or maybe even that year and put them in a state where their body can start doing some healing where maybe they're not in a constant fight or flight mode because of all of the bombarding signals hitting them every single day, all of the social media, all of the TV advertisements, all of the stress from their job, from their relationship, from whatever, and their body can start in that relaxed state entering into a period of rest and healing. So I want to thank you for stopping by. If you found me through one of the free public sound baths that I perform and are interested in uh, booking yourself either a private or a group session, please head over to the website for more information on that. If this is our first time meeting and you haven't experienced the electroacoustic sound bath yet, thanks for stopping by and thanks for tuning in.